What do you swear you saw, but don't have any proof of? When I was 10 we had a 14 year old German Shepherd who was getting very sick. I was home alone momentarily as my mom went to the neighbors to pick up a book or something. Our German Shepherd came over, convinced me to walk outside with him, and started licking my hands, looked at me, and ran away jumping the fence and he never came back. He was so loyal and good that to this day Noon believes me and thinks he was stolen because he would never leave. I'm almost certain he did that because he didn't want us to see him die and he wanted to go to the massive forest area and do his thing. I miss you buddy. I had just applied to a job at a gas station on a major interstate route in the US and I was leaving the lobby of the rest area building when I pushed the door open and walked out. I saw a seagull take flight from the top of a lamp post on the far side of the parking lot, which was shaped like a rectangle, with the building at one of the skinny ends. The only reason it caught my eye was because the parking lot was empty save one or two cars besides mine, and it was like my pushing the door open also pushed a button to trigger the bird to take off. The timing was perfect, so I'm walking down the sidewalk, and I'm watching this seagull fly in my general direction following the edge of the lot. When it gets to the corner and turns, so it's going to fly directly over me, I think to myself no way, and sure as shit, heh, heh, I see the seagull drop one in midair, just before it gets to me, it's flying a good 20 ish feet in the air, so I, simply sidestep and watch as this giant blob of bird shit liquid splats down on the ground, perfectly where I was, so the seagull saw me walk out the door, and instantly decided it was going to try shit on me. I've had glasses since the third grade. I was playing tackle football with friends after school I wasn't wearing glasses. Tackled one of my friends. Really big collision. For a second I regained full eyesight. Then I blinked and it was gone again. My sister and I both had this before. It is often unprovoked and a rare occurrence. We just blink and wham our vision is 20, 20. Then we blink too soon and it's over. I remember grocery shopping with my mother once, when I was about 13. And I blinked, and suddenly had perfect vision. I saw everything clearly, and could read all the labeled sections in the back. I blinked and everything was blurry again. I was amazed, and also extremely disappointed, that it disappeared so quickly. Sometime in the early 2000s my wife and I went to an Eminem concert at the House of Blues on Sunset in LA yes I know they are tearing it down and it sucks. I saw a lot of great shows there, including his royal purple badness. Anyway the entire show, maybe 90 minutes, there was a guy dancing on stage in a full mummy suit and he is doing really awkward and funny dances that you wouldn't expect from a background dancer at a rap concert, but hey he's in a mummy suit so whatever. The show ends, and Eminem screams into the mic do y'all wanna know who the mother duckin mummy is, and the crowd cheers, and he screams Dustin mother duckin Hoffman. He pulls a zipper in the back of the costume, and out comes an extremely sweaty 60 something year old Dustin Hoffman and the crowd goes into a stunned silence for a few seconds, and then erupts in cheers. My wife and I just kind looked at each other in disbelief, and when I tell people they always say something like oh it must have just been someone found that looked like him, but that guy was Dustin Mother Duckin Hoffman, and no I have no proof. Not my story, but my brother's. He lost his wallet, and was retracing his steps looking for it. A homeless man approached him at a coffee shop, and said to him, don't worry, it's in the bathroom sink. Your wallet is in your bathroom sink. Later that night he did indeed find his wallet at home in the bathroom sink. A few days later, he saw the same homeless man and thanked him for his help. The guy became really irritated and told my brother he had never seen him before. Could have been a lucky guess, but I think Magical Bun makes for a better story. Went and got the mail from the previous day at like 7am. No one was around. But this massive black dog was walking around my neighbor's Ford Winster. By massive. The dog's head went to the windows, and when his head was at the back bumper, his hind legs were still at the driver's door. When I was about 10 years old I saw my old dog catch a crow out of the air then just gently release it. Your dog was probably thinking hum. I didn't think I'd get this far. 
when I was about 10 they started putting missing children on milk cartons. Every morning for a while I was looking at this boy's face on the side of the milk while I would eat my cereal. Then one day a car went down my street while I was playing outside. And there was a boy in the back seat with his face up close to the window looking out. I'm 99% sure it was the boy from the milk carton. I told my parents, but they didn't believe me. I was at the Shed Aquarium in Chicago. I walked up to the cuttlefish tank. And for some reason all 20 or so of the cuttlefish rushed over to me. It was a big tank. Maybe 10 feet long. I walked the length of it. And they followed me. I walked back. And they followed. A few other people saw and tried it themselves. But alas. The cuttlefish only had eyes for me. My best guess as to the cause was that the guy who feeds them is my doppelganger. Ball lightning. It was right after a thunderstorm passed by. I could see floating orbs in the sky. There were a couple of cars parked by an open field and people were watching this happen. So I parked and got out to join them. We all sort of just looked on in silence until they winked out one by one. There was at least 10 of them and they seemed to fly together in patterns. Sometimes they were fast, other times they slowed down or reversed direction. They seemed small, but I could tell this wasn't because they were far up in the sky. If I were to guess, they'd be about the size of a basketball, maybe a little larger. The whole ordeal only lasted 30 minutes. We then all got in our cars and left I tried taking pictures, but it was dark and the lights were too faint to make out. I should recorded a video instead. I noticed someone was recording them at the scene. So I had kinda hoped I'd see it online at some point. But it's been two years now, so I guess not. A chameleon escaped from a bag when my friend was giving it to me, and it leapt into a big pile of snow. I looked around for it for a while, but couldn't find it, so I gave up. Several weeks later the snow all melted, and I was out there, and found the lizard partially frozen to the ground. I peeled him off and put it in one of those little plastic tanks and sat it by the radiator in my house. Within an hour or two the lizard was hopping around the cage like nothing ever happened. It lived for several years after that and was known to my friend and I as Jesus the resurrection lizard. My bathroom had a towel holder thing which was a fastened bar parallel to the wall. It had started coming out of one of the holders and one day I accidentally pulled too hard on it. It came flying off and landed in a clatter, but I couldn't find it. Mind you, this was a small bathroom, maybe 15 feet by 6 feet in area and the counter and cabinets are seamlessly fastened to the wall. I checked in the bath, behind the toilet, under the towers nowhere. To this day, I have no idea what the duck happened to it. One day I was looking out the window of my office and four semi trucks drove past one after each other. They were in order Costco, Costco, Cisco, Cisco. Half the people I mention it to don't care, and the other half don't believe me. I was snorkeling in Hawaii once, and I swear I saw something that looked like a clear chameleon. But as soon as I got close it buried itself in the sand. I still vividly remember discovering a new species. Before my sister was born, my parents found a kitten. They decided to keep it, because they could find no owner, named her princess. Anyway, my sister is 4 years older than I am. We both grew up with this cat. She'd sometimes follow us and watch over us. My parents used to make jokes about how she thought of us as her kittens. Now, my sister wasn't very nice to me. It took a lot of people a lot of time to realize she wasn't just nasty it was full on abuse and bullying. My sister is a narcissist, but that's not what you need to know. When I was too young to understand what was happening, I used to talk to princess. She was like my version of a diary I'd sit with this creature that was older than I was and tell her all my problems. One day at a store, my mum told us she'd buy us each a lolly. My sister wanted a different one to me and grabbed my arm and clawed her nails down it so hard it drew blood, hurt a lot and I was really upset. When we got home I went and cried to princess about how scared I'd felt. After a while I calmed down and went and played with my toys. Princess ambled out of the room. A few minutes later I heard a shriek and she ambled back in. Turns out she'd walked up and scratched my sister's hand. 
then hissed at her, before coming back to sit with me, and watch over me playing with my toys. My parents assume, that my sister provoked her, but I know. She walked out of the room, right after I'd been talking to her, and walked in right after the shriek. I can't prove it, but I think princess saw how scared I was, and showed me, that she'd protect me. I've never told anybody about my white and grey guardian apart from my current cat. I haven't thought about princess in a while. She lived to be between 19 and 21. Depending on how old she was, when my parents got her she lived with them for 19 years was around 2 when they found her. I loved that cat. Funnily enough, my new cat was originally my sister's. She got him. Then left him with my parents. And he slowly became mine. He likes to sit with me more than he likes her. When I was around 10 years old I went down to a lake when I was on holiday. When I get down there I vividly remember a massive ball of lightning just hovering, and then it struck the middle of the lake. I never ran so fast in my life back to the lit house we were staying in. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.